Hey guys, this is a video guide on the Night Elves starter zone in Classic World of Warcraft. Back in the day I used to play a lot of Night Elves, they used to be my favorite race. As a matter of fact, my very first main was a Night Elf Warrior, but this time around we're playing as a Hunter, just to show you all the quests, where you can get them, where you complete them, and what I think is the best order to level through the Night Elf starter zone. For more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel now and let's jump straight into it. As you spawn, the very first quest is right in front of you and it is called the Balance of Nature. You'll have to kill four boars and seven sabers. You will find them all nearby the spawn area just around you. As you can see, another good area to kill the quest mobs is right here across this little path I'll show you on the map. Over here is where we spawned and if you just head east after a couple seconds you'll reach this point and this field is full of the animals that we need for this quest. Even if you complete the quest, if you're not level 3 yet, I suggest you keep farming around here until you reach level 3. When you reach level 3, talk to these two guys right here to pick up their quests. First pick up the quest A Good Friend and then take the quest The Woodland Protector. When you have accepted this quest, check the minimap to see where you can hand in the two quests. First hand in the Balance of Nature and accept the two follow-up quests, the Balance of Nature again and your class-specific quest with the Sigil. Then talk to the Dryad called Tarendrilla right next to him. Accept the follow-up quest. First we will do the follow-up quest for the Balance of Nature. For this, just walk back to the field from which we just came from. So walk through this field and then you will see the next level boars and sabers that you need for this quest. They're slightly bigger and should be one level higher. Kill seven of each to complete the quest. If you're struggling to find enough uh, sabers and boars, you can continue all the way until this uh, moon well. Here I'll show you on the map where I am, it's way in the north. Just if you continue all the way here, you'll be sure to find enough sabers and boars. Again, even if you've completed the quest already, I really suggest you keep farming until level 4. As soon as you hit level 4, we can return to the main building here and do our class quest called the, the Sigil. Depending on what your class is, you need to enter the building from here or you need to walk around the building and up this ramp. So just check the minimap to see where you need to go for your class. So hand in your, your quest and now that we're level 4 we can learn a lot of abilities especially and most importantly we get to learn another damage ability. Next walk to the bottom of this ramp here I'll show you on the map where we are. We're here on the west side of the tree and accept the quest called Wood Web Venom. Then return to the spawn point and hand in the second quest of the Balance of Nature. After you handed in the quest, head southwest and start killing all the Grells for the quest um, The Woodland Protector and keep killing them until you have all 8 fell moss. When you have completed the quest, return to the triad, which should be nearby. Hand in the quest, and then next up we will do a good friend and webwood venom. To do these quests, just follow this path from the spawn point and head north. You will walk around this pond and when in the distance you see this cave, you know you're going in the right direction. When you're standing in front of the cave entrance, turn left and follow this narrow path to Iveron. Talk to him, complete the quest and accept the follow-up quest. Now use your hearthstone to return to the spawn point. From the spawn point walk straight east to talk to 
Dariana or what's her name? Dirania. Again, complete the quest and accept the follow-up quest. The first thing that we will collect are the, the lilies. For this, you walk north to these ponds. Here, let me show you where we are on the map. We are right here. And you just click on these flowers and pick up the lilies. When you got all four of them, you can return west back to the grells and start killing them for the mushrooms. I know that these mushrooms are also spread out under the trees and you can just pick them up. However, I really prefer killing mobs for quest drops because we also get experience for, from killing them. So instead of wasting our time just running around, we, it takes about the same time to kill these grell and loot them and we get experience from killing them. When you've collected all the seven mushrooms, head north again to the, to the spider cave. When you're here, kill all the spiders outside and inside the cave until you have 10 venom sacks for the quest Webwood Venom and to get the Webwood Iker for the other quest for the an Antidote. When you've completed both of the quests, carefully walk back out of the cave and return to the, to, the, to the spawn point and main building. First of all, talk to the Windwalker. He is right here west of the main building and at the bottom of this, this ramp. Talk to him, hand in the quest Webwood Venom and then accept the follow-up quest called Webwood Egg. Next, walk around the building to talk to the other quest giver, which you will see marked on the minimap. Hand in the quest and accept the follow-up quest, which is on a five minute timer where we have to return to the, the guy hidden next to the spider cave. But five minutes is plenty of time to return to him. Talk to Iveron to complete the quest. Now to complete the webwood egg, we have to go back inside the cave and find the egg. When you enter the cave, there are three paths that you can take. You can go left, center or right. Make sure you take the middle path down here. As you can see up here are already, are already the eggs that we need to collect. Continue up this ramp and just keep following this path until you see the eggs. As you can see, we've reached the top of this platform. Back there are the eggs, but first we have to kill the, the big spider here. Click on one of the eggs to loot the quest item. Now you have two choices. If down here the, the path is cleared and there's no spiders, you can just jump down or else if you're gonna pull too many enemies, you can clear away down the other side of the ramp. The safer option is to walk down here because you never know what you're gonna pull if you jump off the cliff. Fight your way outside of the cave and return to the, to the main building. Once again, return to the guy at the foot of this ramp and hand in the quest, give him the egg and accept the follow-up quest. For this quest, walk up the ramp to the very top until you reach the, the marker on your minimap. When you're at the very top, talk to Teneron and accept his follow-up quest. To do this quest you can just jump straight down from where he was, jump on the roofs and jump down onto the grass. As you can see in the north, there is the moon well, and this is where we need to go to fill this, uh, this bottle. Jump inside the water, open your inventory, your bag, and right click on the bottle to fill it. When it's filled, return to the same uh, guy at the top of the ramp once again. Okay, once again we're at the very top. Talk to Teneron, hand him the, the filled bottle and accept the follow-up quest. Now exit, but this time don't jump down directly. 
walk down the ramp just a bit and then jump over this uh, railing and onto these roofs. Just jump from roof to roof and get onto this path outside of to, to, re to get out of the, the starter zone. So we have actually completed all the starter zone quests now and we're leaving the starter zone and let me just show you how you can reach the next village and which quest you can pick up along the way. So as you follow this path you reach this guy here I can hardly pronounce his name pick up the quest and leave the starter zone on the map we're going south this is where you need to go and now you just continue following this path as you're following the path you will pass this guy here he's actually a, a satyr and you just pick up his quest and continue walking the next village you're supposed to reach is called Dolinar as you enter the city or I mean the village check your minimap to hand in your two quests that you picked up along the way and very important talk to the inn master and make sure that you make this in your new home first and then you can hand in the quest also when you reach this new village don't forget to learn any new abilities for level 6 so yeah that's it that's how you level through the night elf starter zone and how you get to Dolanar, the first village right outside I hope you liked this video for more guides like this for more gaming videos also on world of warcraft please subscribe to my channel now and also I'd love to know which race and which class are you gonna play in world of warcraft classic or what did you play in the past just let me know what you're gonna play in this awesome game thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video